some of you have the Lulav pieces under, at your desk. And thank you, Alicia, and those who made them up. The Torah, the Torah tells us, on the first day you shall take the fruits of your harder tree, branches of palm trees, boughs of leafy trees, and willows of the brook, and you shall rejoice before the Lord for seven days. Leviticus 23, 40 through 41. A beautiful fruit palm branches, leafy branches, willow branches. We call these the Arab a minim, or the four species. The lulav has three parts. It has a long palm branch, which represents the human spine. And it has a willow branch, and it has a myrtle bush branch. And these branches are held in a braided palm. See, this, this is from a palm branch, and it's woven to make a holder for it. And this is called an eat lulav. You have in your seats or with you a lemon, because the traditional one uses an etrog. The etrog is found in Israel, but not grown here in the States. But the lemon is very similar. And it, the etrog smells sweet. And then we say a blessing, and we rejoice, and we will wave these in six directions. We will wave them to the east. Each time we wave them, we do it three times. We reach it out and bring it back to our chest or our heart. And a second and a third time. And then we will do it each direction. First we do east and then we do it to the right, south. Then back and to the left and then we will go up and we will go down we're going to do each of these three times i want to tell you just a little more when we first start this we take the etrog or our lemon and the crown of that lemon we start and within our left hand but we it's facing down after we say the blessing and the Shahakianu, and we will turn it up, the crown of the etrog or lemon up. Then we will hold them together and uh, do, the, do the waving as I talk to you. Um, I was talking about the interpretations of these, the uh, four species. Some say they represent the parts of our body. The palm leaf, which is long and straight, uh, represents our spine. The myrtle leaf, which is round, stands for our eyes. It looks like the shape of an eye. And this palm leaf, or willow leaf, shape, there's two branches of willow, three branches of myrtle, and this single. One, two, three, kind of a trinity, isn't it? Uh, the palm leaf and the myrtle leaf. And this stands for our mouth, this uh, willow leaf. The etrog represents our heart, those parts of the body. It's also uh, said that uh, through some uh, rabbinical interpretations they will say the four species represent the different kinds 
of Jews or Torah observant Christians or Torah observant uh, well, it's Christians too. The etrog, which tastes good, has a sweet fragrance, and it represents who study the Torah and do good deeds. The palm, which has good taste but no smell, is like those who study the Torah but do no good deeds. Mm. The myrtle, uh, which has smell but no taste, is like those who do good deeds, but do not study Torah. And the willow, which has neither taste nor smell, is like those who neither study or do good deeds. Won't you please stand? Those of you who have your etrog or lemon, hold, it, hold your lulav in your right hand and the etrog in your left hand with the crown facing down. The crown faces down. Oh, okay. I was correcting John. <laughs> and he had it right. Barukata Adonai Ohenu Malika Alam Mashir Kichano Bimitsvata Bitsivano Al Nitala Lulav. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us concerning the waving of the Lulav. Now turn the Ekron up. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam shehekiyanu vehikiyanu vehigiyanu lazman hazeh. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has granted us life and sustenance and permitted us to reach this season. Amen. 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 Now east is directly behind you and you can listen we are going to do the lulav wave first to the east uh, bring it in front of you and we say hodu and we reach out and bring it back and reach out and bring it back and reach out and bring it back now to your right, reach out, and bring it back to your chest. Reach out to the right, bring it back to the chest. Bring it out, bring it back. You keep facing, facing the east through the whole ceremony. The only thing to move is to move off. Okay, now we're going to go behind us, over your right shoulder back. One, and back. Two times, and back. Three times, and back. Now to the left, to the north. Second time, out and back. Third time, out and back. Now we're going to shake up. Lay along. Up and back to your heart. Up and back to your heart. Up and back to your heart. Now we shake it down. Chasdu. Down and back to your heart. Down and back to your heart. Down and back to your heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Did everybody turn back around? Everyone should answer in a moment here. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and all answered, and his loving kindness endures forever. And his 
Let all Israel say, Thanks to the Lord for his, his, he is good and his loving kindness endures forever. Let all Shalom say, Thanks to the Lord for he is good and his loving kindness endures forever. O oh Lord, we thank you for your sheltering presence and for this time and celebration of Sukkot. And we implore you, Lord, save us. Amen? Amen. 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 You may be seated. 